Ahorise, Royal Danish Navy, 40%. When you called at the port of Charlotte Amalie in the 19th century, you would be greeted by Danish men of wars and warships. With open gun ports ready to fire at any newcomer who was there to challenge Danish sovereignty. It was a part of the Danish kingdom and everything belonged to the Danish king. No one should doubt that. Indeed, no one challenged this notion during the time when the islands were part of the kingdom of Denmark. Friendly ties were established between the pharmacist and the Danish navy soon after opening Ahorises pharmacy. The ties only grew stronger when a deal was made for Ahorise to deliver all future supplies of rum. We are proud to see that these ties are still remembered and exist today, although on new terms. On naval ships, rum were not only a luxury for the officers, all on board from the lowest ranking ship's boy to the captain of the ship were given a daily measure of rum. The reason for this was that drinking water on board was often bad and undrinkable. So if you had no intention of dying of thirst, you would have to drink rum. Someone everyone seemed to be okay with. The blend that is now Ahorise Royal Danish Navy has a lot of mineral and metallic properties, which we usually associate with pot still rum. However, the Ahorise touch is very noticeable. Even at the mercy of the waves, Ahorise makes for a sweet, aromatic acquaintance. The golden nectar has been blended with utmost care. It is made of rum that has been aged in Northern Europe, the West Indies and in Central America. So what is in your glass? The color of the drink would have to be described as mahogany. Hold the glass against the light to see how it reflects in the glass. Rich nose with licorice, orange zest, coconut and papaya, eucalyptus and mint. A hint of balsamic reduction and black tea. A full-bodied taste with a beautiful balance of citrus, green notes of eucalyptus and mint, and the deep notes of licorice and balsamic reduction. The aftertaste gives us long-lasting the notes of mocha, dark chocolate with orange. Cheers everyone. And enjoy this wonderful spirit drink while I bring you up to the latest news from St. Thomas. If you visit the Danish West Indies today, you will still be able to see many signs of Danish presence in places and street names. You can walk down Kongensgade, Dronningsgade, Prinsessegade, or visit Frydendal, Louisehøj or Rosendal. The King's monogram can be seen above the entrance of many of the buildings. And you might even meet some people with exotic names like Jensen, Hansen and even Knudsen. 